Hi everyone, this is Cassandra from Homeschool Peace. Here on my hands today, I have the Geology Science Unit from The Good and the Beautiful. If you frequently visit my channel, you'll know that my family uses The Good and the Beautiful for our science. And in just a couple weeks, we're going to jump into geology for our next science unit. So I'm really excited to open this up. I did leave it shrink wrapped. Um, this is exactly how I received it in the mail, just so that you get a chance to see me open this up and see what's inside of it. I'm gonna be taking a look at the teacher material and student pages, that's the bigger section. And then I'm gonna also take a look at the rocks and mineral kits with you. So if you are interested in the good and the beautiful science, I have the link below to their science page. Go check them out. If you have any questions about the good and the beautiful, I do have a couple videos that I have already put together with, you know, how to put together one of these science units, some pros and cons, as well as some walkthroughs of some of the previous lessons. So if you're new to that, check out those links below. But if you are interested in this geology kit, just stay tuned as I open up and unbox this kit with you. So let's go ahead and take a look inside the geology kit. As you can see, the geology kit is shrink wrapped. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut through the first sort of layer of um, the plastic. We can see here that we have our rocks and minerals kit, which we'll take a look at that in a minute. And then we have the shrink wrapped geology set that includes the teacher information as well as the student pages. So this is also shrink wrapped. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this one up as well. Opening up this, you can see that all the pages that are included in this teacher information is loose. So before opening this, make sure that you are ready to really go through this, that you have a spot where you can keep your papers, a binder set up. If you are curious on how I actually put these together, check out the video link I have below for setting up one of these units. It'll help you out, but this will at least give you an idea of what's inside of it when you do open it. So right here we have our cover page. And it looks here that, this is the first time I'm really going through it, that I can see that we have 15 lessons. And the first page goes into the unit information. We can see our read aloud book pack. So these are some of the additional read alouds that you can get, as well as some lesson extensions. This is the supplies needed page and there's also the supplies needed continued. And now when you start seeing these pages, this is going to start your vocabulary wall. So these will be the pages that you'll wanna run through your laminator and get those cut ahead of time. So I love the pictures on this. I actually like this one here, how even just the, uh, the vocabulary geology, you can see that it has like a nice picture behind it. That's a little different from some of the older cores um, that they have. This one looks actually really nice. Um, we see here, some additional colors. These vocabulary cards look really cool. I'm excited for them. And just continuing through. So there's a lot of vocab. Every single unit's a little bit different with how many vocabulary words they have. I'm not gonna flip through all this. Again, this is the first time I'm looking at this with you. So again, it has a lot of vocabulary words. So all those I wanna run through my laminator and get those printed ahead of time. So this moves into the lesson one. And so as you can see, when you go into some of these lessons, they do have, like this one would be a great example of a photo page that I'll want to also laminate as well as, so we see earth structure. So I'll definitely wanna be laminating this as well. And then this one is a good example of a worksheet. So we have the worksheet that I would want to then have this copied ahead of time. You can see for grades K through three, we have for grades four through six. So I, I like that, that's nice. And this is the answer key that's with it. So that gave you a little bit of an idea of one of the lessons. And then here's the lesson extension. Again, I really like these new little headers that they have, definitely more fuller color than I've seen in some of the other um, science units. So that's really exciting. And so let's see, moving into lesson two, again, we have what materials we need, the lesson information, pretty standard. We have, okay, this one looks like maybe a game or activity. 
Yep, and then here would be the paper that you would have used that for. And we have some additional cards that'll probably be laminated as well and I'll wanna have those cut out. So as you can see, when you're going through this, it's just really like each page you just take a look at, see is, you know, is this a page that I'm going to be pulling out regularly with my kids? Is it something that is, you know, this page just being something that as a teacher, I'm just gonna be looking at. So those pages, you know, you can just three hole punch and put in a binder versus maybe one of these pages you might want to actually laminate and have ready for your kids to be able to hold and manipulate. All right, so just moving a little bit faster through some of these things, you can get a chance. Oh wow, look at how much color this is. This is really great, very colorful. I really am enjoying the, the bright colors that they have in this science. The headers look really cool. Some more activities. All right, so here I'm stopping here so you can see this one would be one of the small mini books that you'd want to put together ahead of time. So what I like to do, I like to laminate the front cover, which would be just this top part would be the front cover. And then these other pages, I would cut along this dotted line and you're going to make a small book out of this material. So this is, um, so this right here would be its own small mini book. And so that's one that you will definitely wanna have prepared ahead of time and put right in there. If you have questions on how I put together the mini book, again, check out that video on how I actually prep one of these. Again, this was this video specifically just to walk through how it looks when you first get it. So then we have some, this one looks like a really nice painting. We don't wanna laminate this one. All right, so I'm gonna probably sort of jump to the end, see if there's anything else we wanna sort of call out. If, you know, if you have any questions with what I'm flipping through today, you know, let me know. I'm also going to make sure to do an update after we've finished going through the rocks and minerals and the geology unit and give you a little bit of a summary or maybe a walkthrough of this unit after we have completed it. We're gonna be starting this in just a couple weeks. Very nice. I love all these activities. The pages look great. The student pages are amazing. I'm really excited to jump into this. All right, so now let's just take a look at the actual rocks and minerals set. So this is just a small box. You know, I'm looking at it. I'm, I, I think I might wanna get maybe a plastic box to put this in when I'm done. I just could see that maybe after time, this cardboard might rip a little bit with how much my kids would probably use it. But here we have here rocks and minerals kit. We're gonna open this up and check out what we have inside. All right, so again, this is the first time I'm really looking at this. So it looks like they gave us a screw, or no, that's a nail, another nail. So I'm not really sure exactly what's inside this set, but we can see here we have a selection of rocks as well as some of the names of the rocks below it. And if you have any questions specific on what this kit is, let me know for the actual rocks and minerals set or what's included. But I know that my kids will really enjoy going through this. We have a few different rocks that we already have from other rock collections. So we might wanna add some of these to our existing set. But definitely a very cool rock set. I really like this one, this one's pretty shiny. It's a really cool rock. So, okay, so we have just this cardboard insert, dividing it, and just our cardboard lid. They are nice graphics and pictures that we have that were similar to what we saw in our actual teacher material. And I'm going to go ahead and put this back on top. All right, and so that's the end of the rocks and mineral kit. After opening up the geology kit with you all, I wanted to go ahead and show you what the final product was for the actual binder. So this is a complete set up book. I put the front cover right here in the front of my binder. I went ahead and created, there were 
three mini books as part of the set. And so these are just, I just laminate the front cover and then the back cover, and then I staple the pages together. So there were three total of these mini books that were created for the lessons. And I just like to store them in the front of the book. Then here is my pocket, these are my zipper pockets. And I have to say this particular science unit had a lot of vocab words, a little bit more than I'm really used to. So I went ahead and I have uh, three different sets of these and I just put them in alphabetical order so that it would make it a little bit easier for when I am locating the vocabulary words. You know, there's really no right or wrong way to do this. If you would prefer to have these part of the actual lessons, you could put them later into the actual binder section. I like to put them all in the front in this pocket, but there's really no right or wrong. So this is just that pocket and then goes right into all the different lessons. I did add some little tabs to the side. These are these little sticker tabs that I add to the sides of each lesson, which will just make it a little easier navigating through the, the lesson material. I did add, add some clear plastic page protectors, which are really nice whenever you have um, some small lesson activity cards that are for a particular lesson. So these all I laminated. I have the paper clip ready to go for the lesson. And those are just right into that clear plastic page protector, which I find just is really easy to go through. Um, any of these really great pictures that we went through that I showed, these are the ones that I just laminated, ran through my laminator, and those are nice and protected so I can pull them out during our lessons. So I just went through, added all of the lessons, added the page protectors where I needed it. Um, you know, this particular unit took me a little bit longer than some, you know, it probably took me close to maybe two and a half hours to set up. So really make sure you give yourself enough time to really have it set up when showing that first packet, how it just comes with the uh, pages that are really loose. You know, you can lose the pages after a while. So make sure you're ready to go and you have a binder set up and your laminator set up that you can just really start plugging it into your three ring binder. So this is now a complete unit ready to go. Um, we'll be starting this in a couple weeks and I'll make sure to give you some updates after we've completed this unit. I hope you enjoyed going through the geology kit with me and opening that up together. It was really great to see inside of it and be able to see what the lessons are coming up and the material we're going to be starting to use. So if you have any questions about the good and the beautiful or how our family does our science units, you know, leave those questions below. I would love to help you out. And before you leave, don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.